run a nonprofit organization called IDEA, International De-Escalation Association. And we do a lot of work with school districts uh-huh. in being able to provide solutions. And one of the challenges that we have is when the school teachers don't have a lot of time to be able to absorb the material that we do for our training. So I'm curious, when you're trying to help a client find a solution to one of their problems and build trust at the same time, they seem to go hand in hand, but do you have any techniques for being able to really nail down the questions to ask a client when you're trying to help them solve their own problem that maybe they don't even know about? That's very common, Carrie, where people have a sense of what they want to solve, but don't understand what they need to solve. It's a very subtle difference. And the challenge as you're bringing up is that most prospects will bring to you a symptom of the problem. They'll say to you, Carrie, my shoulder hurts. And the most experts will say, great, let me help you solve that problem. But a doctor doesn't take that assumption and assume it's true. They go to an x-ray machine, an MRI machine to find out what the real core problem is. And it turns out the shoulder hurts because of blood clot in the right hand, in the right calf. They didn't know that, but the doctor figured that out because he has a process to diagnose the real problem. And so that's the first element to think about is never assume what they're telling you is totally the full picture because the person who has their own problem themselves cannot, does not have a 360 view of their own self. It's impossible. Human beings only look inward. They don't look outwards. So that's why they need an expert like yourself to help them see the totality of their issues. So what you first do with people is that you obviously you have them share with them what their concern is. That's as far as they can take it, what I call service level. Then you need to unpack that issue and help them see the context behind it. And that's where the questions come into play, where you might want to ask things like, tell me more about that situation. Uh, Tell me in detail where it's happened before. Uh, what have you tried on your own to try and resolve this? Um, how long has this been an issue for? What's been the impact to your situation and your kids because you haven't been able to solve this? Give me more a uh, sense of how this is slowing you down for your performance. Give me an idea of how much you're losing because of this. Give me see how I keep going. Is, yeah. you, going with lots of questions because you have to help them go down their own iceberg, help them see the truth behind their own problem. Because here's the thing: if they don't own the gravity and the seriousness of their problem and it's not urgent to solve, then <laughs> you're gonna they're gonna ghost you. That makes total sense. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate you're it. Welcome.